so day 11 and I guess we'll have some coffee. Cool. So, something not so chill happened. Hey guys, so we just arrived here in Santa Cruz to go get some coffee and uh, it looks like everywhere you go you have to pay for parking and as we were pulling up to park in this and pay for our parking this really lovely couple came up and dropped quarters in it and said hey we got your back we got you covered so I would say that's one point for California hey guys so we just got up just keep going hey guys so we just got out of the get it uh... get, put it up we just got coffee at a really nice coffee spot in Santa Cruz. What's it called? Santa Cruz Coffee Roasting. And it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. Actually, it still is. So as you can see, Douglas did not strap the boards down. If, if first you don't succeed, you should probably just give up. Well guys, we just left the beach, uh, shredding some waves. It was a lot of fun. I got up three times. Uh, I rode that white lightning. Wait, is that, sur is that snowboarding or is that surfing? Fresh pow pow. Anyways, it basically looked like a surf competition out there. <laughs> and we were gunning for last. Yeah, success. See, when you set the bar low, you always succeed. That's why we're the average bros. <laughs> so right now we're headed to San Francisco. We're about 21 minutes away. <laughs> no, that can't be right. We are a lot farther than that. <laughs> so um, we're gonna have to reset this GPS and I gotta find a hotel to stay at because it's a little change in plans. We were gonna stay at our campsite number three, but we wanted to surf out on the beach in Santa Cruz and just take the day in. I'm glad we did. We were starting to really rush things and that's what we usually do so we have to remind ourselves to just take it easy and slow down i feel like that's what we are a lot of the time is lost lost in life i think we're lost right now technically and uh we're just looking to be found that's why we're out here guys so um okay we'll update you in a bit Before we hit the road to San Francisco, uh, we definitely had to stop and get a bite to eat. Look at all that stuff. All of ours is vegan. So the place is called Dharma's, a health food restaurant, and basically anything can be made vegan, even this amazing chicken burrito. Every portion is about the size of your face. I got a little car sick, so now I'm feeling a lot better. So we will be drinking to that. It's tradition. Cheers. Yeah. So this is Shannon. Yeah, I'm Shannon, you guys. Oh, you have no internet connection. connection. That sounds uh, appropriate. This is, there's no rules at Slumber Party Hospital. And hey, she doesn't have a left foot. Oh, hey, Shane. <laughs> By the way, my name is Shannon. <laughs> so They're growing hug. out. Yeah. With the s*** in the bed. Yeah, yeah, with the s*** I just thought that was really everybody's story. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so we finally left the restaurant after making our new friends and uh, I have a confession to make um, and I accidentally booked the wrong location. We thought we were going to book in San Francisco, but I booked about 30 miles away from that. So Douglas had to book another place in San Francisco and we just got to take the hit because um, it was a last minute book 
And there's no cancellations on the other hotel? Luckily, this came at a good recommendation from our new friends. So we're very confident about the new place that we're staying at. And it just so happened that Shannon fudged it. Right? What do you say? Um. You burn me once, shame on you. <laughs> you burn me twice. The point is, you ain't gonna get me again. Guys, if you're still with us, go ahead and smash that like button. I want you to murder that like button for us. And subscribe if you haven't already, because this is just the beginning. Okay, God has checked in. Douglas is still circling the block. I got the parking pass, so I gotta go find him. Woo! It's really cold, guys. I don't know where he's at. Hey. By the way, it's cold outside. F figure out how to turn over there and come back this way. Oh, my mask. Oh my god. It is cold. too. And it's freezing. The dimension's freezing. Hey, what's <laughs> up? All right, we did it. All right, how stressful was that? Good morning, guys. Fun little travel tip for you if you want to save some money. You can share a bed. How'd you sleep? One thing. Feels amazing to be in a bed. And we slept in a real bed last night, which it's been a few nights since we've done that. I think we're about to grab some coffee, some breakfast, because Douglas has to eat breakfast every day. A hotel like this will run you about 1.30 USD a night. We paid 130 for this. So look at the parking here. I don't know if you can see I'm doing it any justice. That is about level right there. And you can see the angle that is created. It looks like the cars are just gonna slide down on top of one another. Wow. Welcome to San Francisco. Okay, so we're about to get out of San Francisco, um, but of course we need coffee. I am a big breakfast is the most important meal of the day thing so we found both of those things in a nice little cafe just up the street and we're gonna go do that right now here at nourish cafe it's placed in san francisco and it's a completely vegan cafe they make some amazing food that we're about to experience but i want to show you the size of this chocolate chip cookie this is it right here and it's warm and the chocolates are melted you can smell that so good the one thing I'll say about it is it is a little pricey, so be prepared to pay top dollar, but uh, we'll let you know if it was worth it. Shannon, how's that, uh, how's that, how's that cooking? It was totally worth it. I'd do <laughs> five times more for it. Thank you. Thank you. So we just finished that delicious breakfast that we showed you, and we're about to head to our third campsite. It's like a five hour drive, and thank uh, God Douglas is- Hey, wait. So as we've been driving up to the third campsite, we noticed some beautiful scenery out here. We found a little hiking trail. Uh, it looks, well, this is a place, it's sort of the peak of this mountainous region where people come and whoever comes here leaves something of themselves behind. So it could be for healing or maybe tradition or who knows really what the reason is. Um, all I have to leave behind are these sunglasses. I wasn't really prepared for this, so I didn't bring anything else. Right there, next to that vertebrae. Obviously, it's actually really bright out here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take my sunglasses after all, but I think it's the symbolic gesture that counts. So this is really tough and frustrating, but our drone isn't working. The motor is failing every time I try to start it up, so. And we're about to lose service. So if we don't fix it now, we won't have the drone going forward. I don't know what to do. <laughs> the 
Doug fixed it. Doug fixed it. Yes. Woo hoo. Yeah. <laughs> I had to suck each one of these little motors. They were tiny grains of sand trapped, and it wouldn't let the aircraft rotate. That was so scary. <laughs> It like falls down. <laughs> I feel better, but I am a little bit concerned right now because it looks like there's a storm brewing on the south quadrant over there that's headed our way. What can I say, guys? When it rains, it pours. Testing, testing, mic testing. We have arrived at Pinion Camp, and I think Shannon has finally lost his motion sickness. I am feeling so much better. I don't know what happened back there, but uh, yeah. So anyways, we're here at this new campsite and it's so amazingly beautiful. I don't know if you can see behind us, but we have a view of the lake. It's called Mono Lake. Um, it's so quiet. You can't really hear anything. It's like a vacuum just sucked out all the noise. It's about time to start setting up camp. Probably drink some wine. Go for a little hike. Who knows? You know, I don't, I don't know if we'll have enough time. For all the activities. A lot of activities. going. I hope y'all are enjoying today's vlog. Marshall and I just wanted to pop in and say that we did unfortunately lose the videos we filmed from days six and seven of the U.S. West Coast road trip. Now as tragic as that may be, we were able to salvage all of the photos from day six and seven. So we want to give you those now and we hope you enjoy them. Weren't those pictures great? You should have seen the videos. So let's get back to the vlog, shall we? We're gonna start it off on day eight. Okay, good morning everyone. Another successful, terrible night's sleep. Um, we're here at day eight. Just woke up in Cedar Bloom. I wanna give you a view. This is where we slept. Today we woke up here next to the river. It was pretty nice. Did you actually hear the water last night or no? A little bit, yeah. You can actually hear the water. It was kind of faint. And uh, we made some friends here too. <laughs> hey buddy. <laughs> yeah, you go, you go. <laughs> Could not have timed that more perfectly. We're just gonna have our coffee, which is my favorite time of the day. Uh, Barista Doug is gonna get that prepared for me. Thank you, Barista Doug. Guess that puts a wrap on Cedar Bloom. What would you say, Shannon? Cedar Bloom, you've been great. But the journey continues. We met some uh, fellow vloggers out there. Beautiful couple, two dogs, and then there's us. Oh. 
Cheers. I'm taking a photo. One, two. One, two. One, two. Forget it. Hey guys, so we finally made it to Secret Beach. It's kind of a little hidden gym. It's great for hiking, it's great for nature walks and bird watching. And uh, as far as the location goes, well, that's a secret. Although, you probably just Google it like we did. battle with uh, Dutch Bros uh, <laughs> Dutch Bros coffee if you have a if you have a lawyer friend please uh, give us their information and remember to stay true to stay humble and stay average